Bobby from New Jersey back for a quick video. There's a lot of people asking about how to prevent suck back of star sand into fermenters when you cold crash. And a lot of people don't think this is a problem and they kind of uh, dismiss it, but I actually do think it is an issue that you need to address. This is my solution. I have my blow off coming out of here and normally people will just drop it down into a star sand container as the airlock and if it blows off it'll put the junk in there. Uh, what I do is I go through this intermediate bladder, this is like a sanitary nylon uh, bladder here, and it's got a hose that drains off the bottom. And so as it ferments it fills this bladder up with CO2 and then any excess pressure goes down there. And when I cold crash this it's going to want to pull back about a liter, a little more than a liter of uh, of gas and that is going to be pulled out of this bladder instead of the star sand going up through the tube. So this is my solution for completely non-oxygen exposure and you don't dump any star sand or water back into here. Now the solutions most people come up with are like just putting a solid plug in here uh, which will kind of collapse the, the soft fermenters. Um, if it's uh, stainless or glass, what's going to happen is when you finally do pull this off of here, uh, it will suck air into there. Again, I don't want air to be pulled into the fermenter. Uh, other people claim that if you use long enough uh, blow-off hose that the star sand never quite gets all the way up there. Again, I like I said, it, it wants to suck about a liter and a quarter back, give or take, depending on the volume of your fermenter and the temperature change. I don't think you're going to have a long enough hose that will hold uh, a little more than a liter without that star sand getting sucked back in. And then finally, a lot of people seem to say, well, just put like a, uh, some kind of uh, sanitary mesh over your airlock so that even though it pulls air in, it's sanitary. Uh, frankly, again, I don't want any air being pulled into my fermenter, especially with hoppy beers. I I just don't want any oxygen in the system. People spend a lot of time and effort trying to do closed transfers and why skimp here. So anyway, these bags are really inexpensive. There's no reason not to do something like this. Uh, it's not like you even have to hook up a CO2 system to it. Anyway, any questions, let me know.